So we're cannibalizing the M1210. I'm pull the processor out. And one of the things I noticed, you know, and the reason this thing died, like I said, is the um, NVIDIA graphics uh, it went out. And they overheat and um, it becomes desoldered. And if you had a, a hot air rework, you could probably repair it. Um, I don't. So, you know, not going to mess with it. Plus, this laptop's outdated. Um, but one thing I noticed. So, this heat sink right here gets held down by this clip. Which is supposed to be under... There's a little slot in this little post that sticks up it's supposed to be in. And then, this screw, which has backed out and is loose. And I guess that's just from getting carried around. I don't know. I've I've never had this thing this far apart. So, you know, I've I've taken the keyboard off to put memory in it and stuff like that, but I've never never had this screw out and it was out. Now I did just now loosen these up cuz I'm going to take the heat sink off. And I went to go and I was like, "Hey, that clips off." And I was like, "Well, then there's a screw right here." And I realized that screw's out. Um so, you know, that's, to me, that's an issue, and I don't know if that, to me, that would contribute to the overheating, you know, if it wasn't being held down there well. Um, we are still, there we go. And that is the NVIDIA chip. So it makes you wonder if that um, that probably was part of the problem. I mean, it definitely it you would turn it on and it would mess up. So it's not like it was running and overheating. But I would be willing to bet that that heat sink not being held down tight on the NVIDIA chip, it was probably lifted off just a hair, and that caused the chip to overheat and cause the damage. So, I guess if you've got one of these that's still working well, you might want to check that and make sure that heat sink is secured because this one definitely wasn't and it has failed and you know it's now scrap we're parting it out so what we're after is the processor let me grab a flathead uh, we'll turn the little screw here uh, which uh, releases the pins and we'll pull the processor out and this is a the t7600 and then we'll clean up the clean up the processor put some new thermal grease and put it in that inspiron 9400 and hopefully it works i couldn't find a processor compatibility list i've got the latest bios in it it's the same socket so hopefully it'll work